Welcome to the instruction video for the project Overlay Sound. For this project, you'll need to download the software Audacity. To do that, you go to their website and then select the download button appropriate for your device. For this project, you will need to record yourself reading a short part of a story, either one that's made up or a page or two from a book. So to record, you hit this red record button, and when you're done, you will hit the black square stop button. There once lived three animals, a very happy cat, a very sad frog, and a very lonely wolf. Now that we have our story recorded, we need to find some sound effects to insert into our audio clip. You can go to the website Zapsplat. You will need to create an account in order to download from this website, but it is free. Once you make an account, you can hit explore. On this page, it shows you a bunch of different categories that they have their recordings in. I'm just going to pick one. And when you're on these pages, you can hit the play button to preview the sound. And if you decide that's one that you like, you can hit MP3 and select download. Zapsplat allows the free users to download up to three sounds every 10 minutes. So now I have my audio here of the part of the story that I would like to add effects to. So we already went to Zapsplat to download our sound effects. To import them in here, we'll go to File, Import, Audio, and then you will have to find the audio clip where you saved it on your computer. So here is where I saved one of them. I'll hit open. And now you can see that audio file in here. Now this file is way longer than my recording. I don't need all of this. So I'm just going to listen to it by hitting the select button and going to the beginning and hit play to see which part of the audio I want to keep. There once lived three animals. There one so I don't need a very long clip, and this one first frog croak is fine with me. So I'm going to select the rest of this clip and hit delete. And then I'm going to go up here to the time shift tool where I can move this around. Now I know I talked about the frog second, so I'm going to put the frog noise in the second space here. I can make this smaller by clicking this arrow. It makes the sound clip smaller. I'm going to use the select button to go right before the sound clip just to see how what it sounds like so far. A very sad frog. So a that was the right spot. This is a sad frog, but I think this is, the sound comes in too early, so I'm going to move it over a bit. Okay, so now I need to import my two other sound clips. And again, this one's really long. I probably won't need all of this. So I'm going to my select tool, go to the beginning and hit play. There once lived three animals. So that beginning part is more than enough for me. I'm going to delete the rest of it. And I'm going to slide this down over to the section that talks about the wolf. And I'm gonna make it small. and a very lonely wolf. Now I like the sound effect, but it's louder than my audio. So I am going to open this bar up again, and I am going to make this part a bit quieter. And a very lonely wolf. So now the sound clip isn't overpowering my audio. And I just need to import my last sound clip here. And I'm going to move it to roughly where my cat story is. And I'm going to go to the beginning with the select button and hit play. There once lived three animals. A very happy cat, a very sad frog, and a very lonely wolf. So now you understand how to add multiple audio files and how to edit them individually to fit together. When you're done with your project, you can go up to File, Export, 
and pick the kind of file type you would like. I usually choose MP3. Save the file name as something that you will remember. It's letting you know that all of these sound clips will be put together, and so you hit OK. You'll get this area where you can add information about your sound clip, and then you can hit OK. You have now completed the Project Overlay Sound.